Hey there all you Habs fans, welcome to Talking Habs with Rick. In this video, I'm taking a look at the, the New Year's Eve game in 1975 between the Habs and the Soviet Red Army team. Arguably one of the best games ever played. It was an awesome game ending in a 3-3 tie, largely because the goaltending was exceptional, especially Vladislav Tretiak. He was great, especially in the third period. I watched the game on YouTube to prepare this video, and it was really fun to watch again. Um, I guess mostly for nostalgic reasons, because I had seen it originally. Uh, it was an exciting game. What a build-up. The Habs dominated in the first period, with the Russians getting zero shots till uh, past the midway point. The period ended with the Habs leading 2-0, and it was... They were really good. They dominated them. They had they had uh, pretty much all the chances because the Soviets had no shots. They were in the other zone a little bit, but they had no shots. Uh, maybe one or two. I mean, they had nothing. Oh, I should say they had, I think, four, actually, with uh, very few chances. Uh, the, se the second period saw the Soviets play a little better on offense uh, with some good chances. Only three shots, but some good chances on those three shots. And the Soviets were able to score... Two goals. Two goals on three shots on Ken Dryden. Ending the period with Montreal leading 3-2. to two. It was a very exciting period to watch. Um, with the play going back and forth, uh, mostly in the Russian zone, but they carried it over and came back, so it was kind of back and forth. And both teams getting good chances, albeit only three for the, uh, for the uh, Soviets. The Habs still dominated. Uh, but the Soviets getting uh, more than uh, more into their offensive game, and Tretiak playing like a world class goalie. The third period opens with the Habs still dominating the play uh, and getting lots of good chances. Uh, Dryden didn't have much to do. Uh, there were six shots against him on that in that period. Still, it was a little more, but not much. Uh, but Tretiak was busy. He was busier in the third period, and uh, and he looked sharp throughout the game. One thing you notice uh, about the Soviets is that they don't get a lot of shots, but what they do get are quality shots with good passing. Uh, the Soviet tying goal was a beauty, a two-on-one with really good passing. Uh, Dryden had a piece of it, but just a piece of it. Uh, so the game ended... Um, with some very exciting play, uh, the last ten minutes was just um, it, it was just exciting, uh, chance after chance after chance. Tretjak was fantastic, uh, and as I wrote, and tremendous goaltending by Tretjak. It was it was truly a game for the ages. Uh, you can if you're a Habs fan, um, I think if you're just a hockey fan in general, you can watch that today and still think that it was a really good game. Slow compared to today's game. The game then they didn't skate as fast it's slow you notice that but still great okay so there you have it um actually before there you have it let's take a quick look at the stats from the game okay so uh there's no records here for uh one loss so first period at 316 shut from mahovlich to make it one nothing at 725 uh yvonne lambert from doug risebrow and sarah savard by the way, the Mahovlich is Pete Mahovlich. I don't hope everyone knows Steve Shutt. In the second, at 354, it was Mihailov from Vasiliev. I'm not sure their first names. At 939, Ivan Cornoyer, the captain, from Guy Lafleur and Jacques Lemaire. At 621, it was Valery Karlamov. I think that's his name, Valery Karlamov. The great Valery Karlamov from Petrov and Mihailov. Uh, in in the third, it was uh, at 404, Alexandrov from Shluktov and Tsigankov. So, shots on goal. Dryden faced 4, 3, 6 for a total of 13. Tretiak faced 11, 11, 16 for a total of 38. And there you can see Dryden faced quality shots, but didn't have nearly the work Tretiak had, and Tretiak was just phenomenal. Uh, the Canadians went 0 for 5 on the power play, and the Russians went 0 for 3 on the power play. So there you have the stats, and there you have my look at one of the greatest games ever played. The 1975 New Year's Eve game between the Soviet Red Army and the Montreal Canadiens. 
So please like and subscribe if you haven't already and you're enjoying the, the videos that I'm doing. And leave any comments in the spot below and I'll answer any questions. And everyone, please have a happy new year. Uh, be safe and sound and enjoy yourselves. And I'll see you next time after the game tonight on Talking Habs with Rick. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.